If you only had one year left on earth, would that change how you live? Particularly contented people tend to think about death often, but in a peaceful way. They have a stronger direction in life because they can shift their attention to helpful things. They can filter out the nonsense. Our character, our attitudes, all based on what information we have. Isn't it time to refine what information we choose to attend to? That's the attention. Attention is a moment-to-moment -moment awareness of your thoughts and actions as they are now. It takes energy, but we never give it enough. Most of us waste that energy by fighting unwanted thoughts. It's time to accept that unwanted thoughts are just there. They're just the ego or the intellect doing their thing. Once you're at more at peace with unwanted thoughts, you can free up that energy and direct it to where you want. People have different attention styles. Some focus on a lot of things, others just one. Exceptional performers often have different attention patterns. Don't force your attention, just observe it. Work with what you have more sympathetically. Results and achievements are not important in attention training. That's because results are never really in our control. Excellence is better than results. Excellence is applying yourself with your best reasonable effort to this moment, with all your limitations and hang-ups as they currently are. Results will come and go, but excellence is your effort. Excellence is controllable. If you have an inner critic, don't fight it, let it shout. You can quiet it down by accepting that it's there and gently disagreeing with it. No more than that. The inner critic is like a bully. He thrives on attention when he's all hyped up. Gently accept him and ignore him for now. He loses his energy. That energy now becomes yours. Shifting your mind to long-term goals is also a skill of attention. One technique we cover in the course is to imagine your future self. Would your future self in one year thank you for doing what you're doing today? This is a very centered approach. It helps you to steer your life. Look, attention fails because we let biases and assumptions get in the way first. That's because the ego tries to make sense of things too quickly, jumping to conclusions and extremes. Take a fresh approach. Wait for the ego to calm a little and then see past it. You'll start to notice things more accurately. It takes physical and mental practice to do this, so get on with it. The next module in the course shows you how.